What are we going to cook? Okay, I mean, what are you going to cook? <laughs> Ooh, pasta? Okay. Like, what, did you buy cheese? Yeah. I forgot it. Man. I thought about it after the fact. Just not as good without cheese. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and as always, I am joined by my fantastic co host, Aaron. Hello, everyone. Switching it up. You're not lovely today. You're fantastic. Ooh, <laughs> All of those things suit me, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> like basically when you hear the word fantastic, you think about me. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I know everyone does. <laughs> so today we're wrapping up our digital series, well, days digital series, Countdown to Beyond Salem with chapter two of Chad and Abby in Paris. So yeah. overall, what did you think of this one, Aaron? Improvement, like, uh, whoa, so it was so good, this one. I'm, I am I want a chapter three, but the way it ends leads right into the time jump. Mm -hmm. So oh, I, that's what I liked about this one. This one had more connection, I guess, to the show. So it kind of made it a little bit more interesting for me. It felt more fast paced and a little bit more mm -hmm. action packed. Mm hmm. Maybe, I don't know, were the scenes shorter and they just kept cutting to different, like, locations? I don't know, but Abby had some great dramatic things in this episode. One, when there, she's talking to uh, Juliet and says something, she's like, we, and I was just like, it's just the way she said it. I was like, oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> yeah, when Chad was in bed, right? She said something like stupid American or, or crazy. Okay. So there was two quotable moments. <laughs> well, that was the second quotable moment. Where The first quotable moment was, um, look it up. You wouldn't be the first person I put in the ground. I was like, <laughs> ooh. Like, get her, girl. Get her. I was like, she is underestimating you. And see, okay, this is where I, I love... Kate and I love Marcy, but I think Kate is my Abby because I don't think that Marcy would have had the same impact in that scene. Yeah, I mean, I, I, get, I get that. It just felt like it reminded me of when I was like really rooting for this couple. Mm -hmm. I got all the feels. Yeah. And then when she like just punched her in the face, I was like, this had everything I look for in a soap. She threw water. <laughs> she threw her drink in Chad's face. She took the uh, took out the evil homewrecker. And there's just so much Julia I just don't like. Um, I kind of like the actress. Um, well, not nothing about the actress. Just full on character. I think it's because I'm sick of Chad and Abby having marital issues. Uh, <laughs> but so I do have a question, and I'm jumping topics here the person that juliet kept talking to was that just the little sylvie because i thought I it was going to be no some... i actually forgot about that i thought it was going to be somebody bigger like i was waiting for some big reveal like oh, no or you know just i, was, and I can't like juliet never shows up on the main show right no not that i know if she did i it was during yeah, i don't think so I, and I guess she wouldn't at this point because now it's been two years our time and three years their time. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't tell if Abby slapped her or punched her. And then when I saw the black guy, I was like, "Oh, she punched her." <laughs> I it got very dramatic towards the end. Like I was like, "How is this almost over?" And like it's this buildup is just it's like five minutes left. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Oh my god." I felt like I was watching a Lifetime movie where I'm like, how are you going to wrap up two hours of mystery in five minutes? I know. I'm always so let down by Lifetime movies. The movies I, are like so good. And then they wrap it up so quick. I'm like, yes. that's what I spent two hours watching for that. <laughs> but the thing I did like about the, I mean, oh, well, we need to talk about who they opened the door. It was exactly who we thought it was. Tony. Tony. Let down yeah. for me, but whatever. Let's end for me too, because I've stated before, I'm not the biggest Tony Andre fan, but, but I love he, he wasn't in all eight episodes like Austin was in part one. So 
I loved how she uh, thought it was Andre though, and was like, you know. Yeah, it kind of, this chapter kind of reminded me of things that were going on back then on the sh- on the main show. It, yeah, like that I just I guess I forgot about or just didn't care. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been. But I was like, oh, that's right, she killed Andre. Oh yeah, that's I totally forgot. She was Gabby with that. Mm-hmm. the Y. <laughs> And then them just saying Stefan, I'm like, Stefan, that feels like 10 years ago. <laughs> I, exact. Yeah. When they were saying, oh, well, Gabby has to go. Th-, I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels like another shit. Like just years. Have, I mean, while well, talking years about Jack, Jack not having his memory. And I'm like, oh, wow. This is like when Eve brought him back to Salem. I miss but, you. <laughs> I, I do too. I did like how they connected it to the main show, though. I thought that was fun. So, were you watching the show when the time jump happened? Yes and no. I was watching it here and there. Okay, so I I wasn't watching then, but didn't Jennifer fall and then either the next day or the next scene was her waking up and it was like a year later? Jennifer was pushed off the balcony. Yeah, by Gina. By Princess Gina. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I miss Princess Gina. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why. I just I love her more than Hope. Like if Hope came back, (laughs) but if she came back as Princess Gina, I'm totally fine. It never becomes Hope again. Well, when Hope (laughs) killed Stefano, she like mentioned how he turned her into Princess Gina, and he was like, "The one time in your life you were interesting." (laughs) 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 Oh, good times. Now I lost my train of thought. Where was I? Oh, um, uh, yeah. And then it's after that, she's in the hospital. She's like, oh my gosh, it's what has happened? And Jack's like, it's been a year, Jennifer. So was it like the next scene or was it like the next day? Or I think was it was Friday like the, and then no, Monday was a year later? I think it was like the end of a week. And that was like a cliffhanger. Uh, that was the cliffhanger. I think. So the way this ended, they were like, we have to go back to Salem because they just found out mm-hmm. that Jennifer Fowler was pushed. So when they came back to Salem, it was already a year later. So they had been in Salem for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It just brought me back to all these old storylines. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> Days has been, in my opinion, I know some people don't agree and I'm not trying to speak for everyone. Days has been really good these last few years. It's had highs and lows. Okay, to me, well, the part there's a f- couple years ago, I was only watching here and there, so I was watching, I guess, the high parts, not the low parts. <laughs> Some, sometimes certain storylines drag on a little bit too long, like Jack's whole amnesia thing. With oh. the, that was too long. With the um, what was he running for? Was he running for like mayor? mayor? Yeah, mayor. That went on way too long. Yeah. Um. The Gabby stuff in the Gabby with the Y, like with Abigail. Mm-hmm. That story went on like seven months too long. <laughs> well, um, I'm not. You know how I feel about. I'm not a big fan of the Stefan storyline in general. So, I like Stefan better than Jake, though. I'm not gonna lie. Which actor do you prefer as Stefan? Tyler Christopher or? I'm gonna or go Tyler with Tyler Christopher. Christopher. Really? No, yeah. Nothing against who. Maybe it's because I remember him as Stefan. I know he just uh, had he had that more Demera look. Yeah, I would agree. Whereas, you know, this guy I feel like he's he'd be more of a Brady. I could see that. So I was a little bit surprised that the girl working with Juliet kind of backstabbed her I did I was like oh look at you I I was like ooh okay it's the quiet one she sat in her chair she got all comfortable I'd kind of like to know is she running the company now I mean it's been a couple years (laughs) well Shin has been on the the main show I think he was on recently wasn't he there for the the family yeah he was there for uh, the dethroning of Jake Mm -hmm. I like I, him. I like him too. I think he may have been on around the time the, the time jump happened. Like in the I, th- I feel like him and Gabby would make a good couple. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like 
I, they've never been in a scene together that I know of, but I'm just, you know, if I'm wishing, I'm going to just, just feel like they'd be a good couple. <laughs> I feel like Gabby fits in well with the Damaros, though. She's very she savvy. Ooh, Ava needs a new man, so maybe Ava and sh- him? Yeah. I need Ava to be evil again. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's coming. Did you see the spoilers for the fall? Yes. The preview for the fall? Nicole and EJ? I, I told you, I was like, that we need, that's what we need. That's what Nicole needs. I love I her. I hope it's not like a Nicole and EJ, but she's like still like longing for Rafe. Like, that's I hope suck. not. I think it's nice that Rafe and Nicole are just friends. Mm-hmm. I like that, you know. The friendship they have. Did you see when Rafe and Kate were hooking up? Oh God, no! I guess I didn't. Oh, I don't. Really? Rem- that's why I'm like, oh God, no! I don't remember that. Oh, I was really into it. I feel like I was. There was like a small sect of fans that were into it, and I was in that. <laughs> oh, I, oh. It was like ten years ago. It was right before Jordan came on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was- had, I don't remember what happened. Um, was that before Fake Rafe? Or after it was the, after, uh, and I think that's why he was in okay. the hospital because Jordan was his physical therapist. Okay, yeah. See, I didn't see much of Jordan. I didn't, besides her introduction, I didn't really see anything of Jordan. Yeah, and, I didn't either. When she's made a return, I've seen her, but like her main story, I never saw. Because that was back when that elephant was on the show. Elephant. When Melissa Archer was on the show, and they were. Oh, with Eric. I loved <laughs> Melissa Archer. I loved when they killed her. <laughs> <gasps> she was on One Life to Live, so that's why I was kind of like, I yeah, really I liked her on One Life to Live. <laughs> <laughs> Not on days, okay. <laughs> she was part of the necktie victim. That's what I was going to say. Was she technically? They never mentioned her as part of like one of Ben's victims. Oh, I thought she was. She was, but they never mentioned oh. her. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Wasn't there I, didn't watch, I didn't watch the necktie. Oh, you didn't? No. I mean, I saw bits and pieces, but I didn't see all of it. Because you didn't want to? Or you were. You just didn't have the time? I, I was just... It was one of my times when I would had slipped out for a little bit. Surprised it was the 50th. I just... I watched some of the 50th, but not the whole year. Oh. So you didn't watch Will Get Murdered? No. Have you ever seen Will Get like in the clips or anything? It was pretty graphic. Oh, was it? Okay, no. I mean it wasn't like bloody, but like you like basically you saw the life like during that. <laughs> and I know people weren't too sad when he that that Will was murdered, but but people were outraged that Will's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mad Will was murdered, not mad. <laughs> I got rid of that character. Did you oh, watch any of Peter Reckles return? Yes. I saw parts of that, like in the cabin. and. So during the story, um, I don't know if Chad figured out that he was the next high killer or he was just confronting Ben about staying away from Abby. I don't know what it was, but they got into a fight. And Ben put Chad in a coma. And he was in a coma for like a month, maybe longer. And I had gone to the book signing for the 50th in the city. Oh, jealous. And Billy Flynn was there. And I was like, when are you going to get out of the coma? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he filmed it like eight months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be hard for them filming that far in advance. Like, it's probably best if anyone asks them anything, they're just like, I don't know, you know, and then they're probably thinking, no, I really don't know because we filmed it like eight months ago. I can't remember. We filmed like 200 episodes in the <laughs> Just know I'm still on the show. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the response. I'm still there. We good. Yeah. I know but we're yeah. not, we're not really talking about Chad and Abby. Any, I, well, mean, I was I trying to circle back to them. That's why I brought Chad oh. up because I was going to say that's when I really got into Chad and Abby. Because Ben tried to set them on fire in the cabin. And then a few yeah, months later, I, Abby tried to set him on fire in the bed. I wasn't around for Ben and Abby. So I don't remember. 
I was wasn't was. around for their relationship. I was around for Ben being the killer and Abby setting him on fire. <laughs> that poor cabin's been set on fire more times than. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to the Horton cabin? Oh, is that is not the, the most... Hort- is that not the Horton cabin? No, I think it's just like a random cabin in the woods. Oh, I just thought it got like downsized, and that was the new Horton cabin. <laughs> I mean, when Ben and Sierra were in it a couple of weeks ago, I was like, "So is this supposed to be the new generation's Horton cabin? <laughs> They're just always going to go." I know. I love how they it call up. it a cabin. I'm just like, I see a shack. A shack with a bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> but chapter two was, a, to get back on chapter two, um, the improvement. I wouldn't mind a chapter three now. Um, after, you know, chapter two being the improvement that it was. Where's Abby right now? Uh, about at Boston with her mom. Oh, okay. It's taken a long time to take care of Laura, Laura's estate. Oh. <laughs> I think that's that's why they were there, I'm told. Or, well, you know, on the show, they said. So, out of all three of the digital series, which one was your favorite? I mean, well, I mean you know the answer. The Last Blast, you know, the Last Blast crew. So is it safe to say number one is last class, two, Chad and Abby, chapter two, and three, chapter yes. one. Yeah. Yes. I give chapter one a little bit of a break because it was their first time doing that. So mm-hmm. they're probably trying to find the groove to get in. But I feel like after that set of episodes, the other two digital series were really great. Yeah. And I need them to do like. I'm with you on the whole exterior shots. I need more of that. I didn't know I needed it. Okay. One, I, of my other, one of my other favorite things that they did with the exterior shots was when somebody was approaching the door, they showed like an empty hall, mm-hmm. like, as, like as if you were yes. like having their vision. That was cool. I was like, ooh, I need more. Like if we can't have the sets and stuff, at least give us some stock footage. I know that stuff's available. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, in the promo for Beyond Salem, they showed like a motorcycle and I was like, Ooh, this is exciting. Like, this is, like, I, I, know. I, was like <laughs> I hope the show's as good as the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they showed the actual scenes, I'm like, mm, those look like the regular show. Sets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so I'm, I can't wait. I'm count. Oh, I'm so excited. The more they keep releasing it, the just the more I'm getting very excited. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's almost like a bunch of little digital series, just, packed into five episodes beyond Salem. Yeah. Yeah, because... I'm hoping it's more fast-paced than the regular show, since it's only five episodes. <laughs> this is how, this is my hope for it. I hope it's faster-paced. I hope it's close to an actual hour. That way they're getting as much content as they can in every episode. And I hope that we get a season two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know they said it's a limited series, but they call everything a limited series until it's popular, and then they renew I was gonna, it. <laughs> I was going to say Big Little Lies was a limited series, and then there was a season uh, two. Like, there's been tons of shows like that. And I did see somebody tweet that um, Days is the most streamed show, and that's why NBC greenlit this. Okay. So I, hope- <laughs> I, I honestly feel like Days has got to be the most streamed, and then The Bone and the Beautiful would have to be the second. Because for them to be putting up old episodes, like they've got season 19 through I think almost the current on their YouTube channel. Who does? Bone and Beautiful. They have the episodes on YouTube? A ton of them, yeah. For free? Yeah. Hmm. I looked at one today from 2005. Um, well, as far as days being the most streamed, I meant for Peacock. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I'd be interested to know out of all four. Which is all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> I would kind of like to know out of all four of them, which one is the most streamed? It's probably bold because they have a lot of international viewers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if YNR has the same deal because it's Sony. 
I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. But so this is gonna come out the day that the first episode of Beyond Salem comes out on Peacock. Mm-hmm. But we are gonna talk about it that day. We're gonna be on Twitter Spaces. Spaces. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so, after we watch all five episodes, we're going to do an actual podcast episode talking about it. So be oh, sure to come and listen to us and chat with us about, like, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this all works out for us. So hopefully the next episode after this, we can be like, Ooh, po- great positive feedback. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe if this goes well, then we can talk about doing a live podcast, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm only so if I can have my background. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I think we can make that happen. Okay. Well, until next time, tune in to us every Monday and throughout the week for bonus content. And be sure to please watch Beyond Salem coming out Monday, mm-hmm. Labor Day, September mm-hmm. 6th, and every day leading up to the finale on the 10th. Ooh. And- Before we go, we need to mention that we are going to a virtual event. Well, Aaron's going to get to see Lucas Adams. Trip. Trip from D's. Um, I sadly will not because I have to work that day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. But the following week, right, it's the next week on Yes. Yeah. I'm going to get to see Zach Tinker, who is our new Sonny on Beyond mm-hmm. Salem, and hopefully on the main show, if they decide to bring Will and Sonny back, fingers crossed. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So you, this is my first it, virtual event. It's not my yeah. first virtual event. I've went to a book, like book sign, kind of like a book signing, but they had to do it virtual because of COVID. Oh. Um, they, they mailed you your signature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, okay. Uh, but this one is Spectrum Celebrity Events. And you can go to spectrumcelebrityevents.com. They have a ton of like upcoming events with different days, actors, and things like that. So, of course, we'll let you know how it goes because I've never, I'm excited. And do we never not talk about everything we do? (laughs) (laughs) That's true. That's true. So, uh, but it's hosted by Tony from Dish and Days, which is going to be really cool too. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm just excited. I had to share that before. Well, we... having Tony on there, I feel like I'm getting two celebrities in one. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. But until next time, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.